Okey, saya dah start record ni menggunakan uh, OBS punya uh, software ni. Okey. Okey, V belt ah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. V belt the cross section dimension of V belt have been standardized by manufacturers which is section designated by a letter or alphabet or four sizes in each dimension. Matrix size are designated in numbers. Okey. So this has not been included here. The procedure for analyzing and designing them is the same as presented here. Dimension, minimum shift, diameter, and horsepower range for each of the latest section is uh, listed in table 17.9. Okay, you can see sab table 17.9. Uh, uh, meaning this sentence says that the procedure for analyzing is the same as uh, before lah. Is the same as timing belt. Uh, is the same as uh, fret belt. And better fret belt, okay. Uh, this is table seventy nine. Standard V belt section, okay. They have the uh, cross section represented by A, and the thickness is represented by B, okay. And then the uh, degrees is uh, usually is forty degrees lah. So it's a bold section. A B is the name. Is the name uh, represent by metric number, okay. Uh, in chi nam in the in each dimension is presented by uh, uh, nam uh, the letter A B C D and E lah, and this is the width. Okay, you can see the width in in chi. You can see the thickness B. You can see the mi minimum shift diameter in in chi and uh, horsepower range one for one or more belt is in this range. Okay. Meaning that this uh, type of uh, uh, designation designation can uh, withstand the range of ab about around this. Okay. Inside circumferences of uh, of standard V belts, this is uh, standard V belt circumferences in inchi. Okay. And then length commission dimension added to the list quantity to inside circumference to obtain pitch length in inch. Uh, belt section A, B, C, D, and E quantity to be added 1.3 and everything is the length commission dimension lah. Okay. To specify a B belt, given the belt section letter follow by inside circumference in inch. Uh, example B75 and is a B section belt having a inside circumference use of 75 inch. Uh, calculation involving belt length are usually based on pitch length for any given belt section. The pitch length is obtained by adding quantity to the inside circumference. Okay. The groove of uh, shift is made somewhat smaller than, uh, than the belt section angle. The, this causes the belt to wedge itself in the groove, thus increasing friction. Okay. Okay, you can see here. Okay, you can see here. This is the called the shift lah. This is called the shift. Uh, I taken from Google. <laughs> okay, it's called a shift. Uh, and for those you are uh, not familiar, I'm sure you are familiar. This is called the B belt. Uh. Okay, this is called the B belt. You have you see it has the uh, angle here. You have the angle here. Uh, you have the groove here. Okay, you have the shift here. And then uh, this mechanism, you can see here, more surface are in contact. More surface are in contact. That is why uh, uh, this B belt can with uh, can withstand some uh, friction value lah. More friction value than a fat belt. Okay. okay. The groove angle is, uh, if. If it's too much more smaller than belt, the force required to pull the belt out of the groove leave the fully to be excessive. Optimum values are given to the uh, in the commercial literature lah. Uh, okay, this in turn, if it made too much smaller than the belt, the force required to pull out the belt out of the groove uh, leave the pulley will be excessive. Meaning that uh, you can see here the surface contact here 
the surface contact you can see uh, okay this statement if made too much smaller than the belt the force required to pull the belt of out the groove groove as the belt lift the pulley to will be excessive you see here okay, any picture here you see this picture lah kan correct uh, pulley position of belt pulley you see if the surface area um, is more in contact okay uh, more force needed to to take take it out okay meaning that it, it require more force okay so uh, uh, the it, it should not be so tight lah yeah, it should not be so so tight so that it cannot uh, force meaning that uh, you have to use more motor more motor consumption more fuel consumption electric consumption lah to to pull to pull it out lah okay okay the minimum shift diameter has been listed in set table 79 for the best result a big belt should run quite fast 4000 feet per second is a good speed trouble be encountered if the belt runs much faster than 5000 uh, foot feet per minute and much smaller than uh, slower than 1000 feet per minute okay 17.9 where 17.9 okay here is 17.9 okay okay so the pitch length okay and center to center to center distance C are here. Okay, the idea is the same as uh, flat bell. Okay, uh, how uh, you represent uh, the idea for C, L, uh, D, capital D and small D. You uh, just refer to the diagram in earlier chapter for the flat bell. It's the same principle. Okay, so the fish length. Uh, and the center distance are LP equals to 2C C is the center distance uh, from, from between two pulleys or two gear or two mechanism and some or something okay they have the 2C plus pi D plus D over 2 plus D minus D uh, power of 2 over 4C okay so C equals to 0 0.25 uh, this equation lah equation 17.16b where d equals to pitch diameter of large shift and d is pitch uh, diameter of small shift okay this is so called a shift okay okay this is this is this is a shift lah. okay so in the case of a uh, flat belt visually no limit to center to center distance okay long However, for long center to center distance, not recommended for big belt because excessive vibration of the slack slide will be shorter the belt life materially. Okay, so it is not recommended for uh, timing uh, for V belts to be uh, long. Okay, to be long. That is why you don't see uh, B belt. They use B belt for pulley, right? For pulley for gantry or uh, something. They don't use uh, B belt. Uh. And in general, the center the center distance should be no greater than three times the sum of shift diameter, and no less than diameter of the larger shift. Okay. Uh, okay. Lean type B belts have been have less vibration, so because they have uh, better balance, has uh, may be used for with longer center to center distance. Okay. So you see here shift. Okay, let, let me type uh, first. Okay. Okay, ni Okay, this is the feature of a shift. 
the textbook says that the distance the distance between shift you see here this picture this picture okay must be no greater than three times the larger shift okay this is the, they have the diameter here they have the diameter here it, it must not be uh, three times larger three times longer than the shift here okay if longer than this it will become vibration okay it will become vibration so don't be longer than this and don't be shorter than the smaller diameter like this okay this is the rule for b belt lah. okay uh, in the text also mentioned about uh link link type b belts okay what uh is the link type b belts okay in the text also mentioned about link type b belts okay this is the link type b belt lah. okay if you use this it can be longer you can you it can be longer uh longer distance lah. okay yes like this it's a link type b belt okay The basic for forwarding of B-Belt depends on somewhat of the manufacturer if not often mentioned quantitatively in vendors literature but is available from vendors. The basic may be the number of hours to 24,000 hours. For example, the life of uh, 1 million. Eh? 10 to power of 8 is uh, 1 million or nearly uh, 1 million or 10 power of 9 belt passes. Okay. Uh, since the number of belt must be an integer, the undersized belt set that is augmented by one belt can be standing oversized. Figure 13, 12 give power rating of standard B belts. Okay. See. The rating whether whether in terms of hour or belt pressure is for, for a belt running on equal diameter shift. Okay, 180 degrees of wrap or moderate length, uh, of mo of moderate length, and transmitting a steady load. A deviation from this laboratory test condition are acknowledged by multiplicative adjustment. If the tabulated power of uh, of a bed for C section belt is 9.46 horsepower for a 12 inch meter shift at peripheral speed of 3,000 feet per minute, then when the belt is used under this condition, the tabulated value is adjusted as follow lah. So this is the power uh, H allowable for power for belt goes to K1 angle of wrap correction factor from table 17 for 13 and K2 belt correction factor for table 17 14 okay and H tap the uh, tabulated value lah and so our power can be near to H tap depend on circumstances is the B belt is effective coefficient of friction okay which amount to a augmentation of a factor of 3 about on the groove the co FAT coefficient uh, okay. okay the FAT coefficient of friction okay F prime is sometimes tabulated against shift groove of angle 30 degrees 34 degrees 34, 38 degrees the tabulated values being uh, 0 0.5 0 0.45 and 0 0.4 respectively Labeling a belt material on metal metal coefficient or friction of 0 0.13, the gauge uh, rubber company declare the efficiency coefficient of friction to be 0 0.5, 1, 2, 3, 4 groove. Thus, this equation lah. Design power given by H D uh, equals to H nominal K S N D. So H nominal is nominal power. KS is the service factor given is a table 1715 and ND is the design factor. Okay, the number of belts ND is usually the next higher integer HD over HA. Okay, so uh, this is the horsepower rating for standard V belt. Lah. Okay, this is the belt speed. Uh, this is the uh, belt section shift pitch diameter this is the belt speed so this is what depend on what you want to choose okay what you want to choose for if you want to choose the belting for 
1000 feet per minute 1000 feet per minute and everything you this is uh, the the reference lah this is the reference uh, from text for the textbook uh, of course when you in industry when you are, you are working you have the catalog you have a catalog from the vendor uh, the way that you choose is uh, you refer for the belt belt speed what speed do you want and then you tell it with, back with the belting uh, size okay so that you can adjust with your uh, machine okay okay it is normal lah, uh, when uh, your belting is broken you want to replace your belting you just take the original one okay to the shop okay to the to the shop and uh, ask for replacement okay it is a normal practice like that lah uh, now we're talking about you want to design a new thing uh, okay and this is how you design lah okay okay and b equals to um, okay Designer work on per belt basis, flight tension belt, uh, shown in figure 1212, is not the tension induced by bending. Uh, the belt about the pulley, this is more for now with B belt. Centrifugal tension FC is given by this equation. Centrifugal tension, you know about um, uh, when the belt is moving in circular motion, in centrifugal motion, it have a centrifugal tension. So, this is what the force lah. Okay. This is the bad length. This is suggested. Okay. This is the table uh, seventeen thirteen for angle of contact correction factor. Uh, you can see here. Bad length correction factor. Okay. The suggested bit factor for KS for belt ah. This is source of power. You can see for the uniform, uh, uh, meaning that no vibration and everything. This is the light shock. This is a medium shock. This is for heavy shock. Okay. You can see the normal torque characteristic. Uh, high or non-uniform torque. Here. Okay. And then, v back tension. You can see here. v back tension. Okay. This is some v back parameters. And the power that transmitted per belt is based on uh, difference of F equals to F1 minus F2. You just remember F1 represented uh, the tight tight side. Okay, F2 represent by the loose side. Okay, uh, just do remember uh, for any belt mechanism, there are one portion is tight, one portion is loose. Okay. So F1 represent the tight side. Okay, F2 represent the loose side. Okay, so this is the uh, difference of uh, tension. Uh, okay, difference of tension. So CT5000 HD over NB over pi uh, N D per 2. So for the equation 78, the largest tension F1 given by this equation. And least tension F2 is given by this equation. Okay. So the factor of safety is uh, NFS HA and B has to be the KS. Durability, durability, life correlation is complicated by the fact of bending induces flexural stress in the belt. The corresponding belt tension that induces the uh, same maximum stress is. At the driving shift and FB2 is at the driver pulley. This equilibrium tension are added to F1 as this equation. Uh. So, what? Uh, just to read. Okay, these are the flexural stress. They have the bending stress. Okay, you have the bending stress. 
and the pleasure of stress is uh, when you okay when you wait moment uh, pleasure of stress caused by bending moment uh, uh, stress is by caused uh, by the bending moment are known as flexural or bending stress okay uh, just to remind lah what is what are the bending stress lah okay so discrimination are added to f1 as this equation t1 equals to this uh, t2 equal to this is the torsion lah so kb is given by table 7060 the equation of orientation versus fast trade off uh, by used by gates rubber company is a, is a company that this textbook refer okay so tb np equals to kb where np is the number of pass and b is approximately 11 okay so minor rule used for some damage okay equal by two tension peaks okay like this this is called the minor rule uh, okay so one over np or, or np equals to k over t1 as the lifetime for hour given by this is the lifetime for hour np lp over 720v okay v is the velocity lah kan so uh, the velocity parameters for some big belt uh, section so this is the section uh, 10 power of 8 to 10 power of 9 for speed k b and everything you have the minimum shift diameter and everything lah. okay the constant k and b have the ranges of validity if np over 10 power of 9 report that np equals to 10 power of 9 report without placing the confidence material beyond uh, the validity interval state the statement about np and t the other conclusion the analysis of back drive can consist the following step okay so this is the b find the velocity lp and uh, theta and exponential this find hd and run up find fc and find back life number four passes this is uh, the procedure to to analysis uh, be back drive okay and you see this uh, the question here okay a 10 horsepower split pace motor running at 1750 revolution per minute okay he used to drive a rotary pump which operates 24 hours of a day engineer has specified 7.4 inch small shift uh, 10 inch uh, large shift and 3 b12 b112 belts the service factor 1.2 is augmented by 0.9 because of continuous duty requirement analyze the drive estimate the bed life in pass and hour okay this is how you solve this question okay preparer speed b of the belt is v equals to this equation so by the end per 12 you can get 3390 feet per inch uh, from from table 11 uh, 7011 you can have this equation you have the answer and from equation 1716 C equal to you have you have to find the center for the center distance uh, 42.4 inch from equation 17 1 uh, theta equals to this equation so you have the uh, radian in radian 4.72 radian uh, interpol interpolating table uh, 712 for V equals to this okay you have this the rub uh, angle in degrees is like this so from table 1714 k2 equals to service factor lah, uh, k2 equals to uh, 1.05 you can get this equation ha for the power allowable uh, power hd uh, nb and then you just follow and then uh, in the end you will get the number of uh, time 46,000 hours okay you can estimate the 46,000 hour and after this hour passes you have to uh, replace the timing belt lah, kan? 
this is the beauty of uh, this calculation that you can estimate when the uh, when the time that you have to maintain okay <coughs> okay this is the timing belt okay this is the timing belt uh, i'm sure most of you are familiar with timing belt because it is in your car when whenever the time came you have to service your car you have to change the timing belt okay you have to change the timing belt okay uh okay sometimes uh, your car uh have given a, a loud noise okay when given the loud noise uh we we when we hear the noise we know the car the problem is uh, on the timing belt okay timing belt uh is made on rub of rubberized fabric coated with nylon fabric okay has still uh, wire within to take the tension load he has teeth that fit into the groove cut on the periphery of the police the timing belt does not stretch uh, appreciably or slip and consequently transmit power at a constant angular velocity ratio okay I'm sure you are familiar with timing belt, but, but for those who are not familiar, this is the picture of a uh, timing belt lah. Again, this is a picture of a uh, timing belt. Okay. Okay. I'm sure you are you every one of you is uh, know what is a timing belt lah. Okay, it is in your car lah. Again, you have a you have a thief. Okay. The way that uh, we will discuss in this uh, topic is also si like similar, most likely similar like a gear lah, because a gear also have a teeth. Okay, we it must be connected with a gear. Okay, timing belt is connected with a gear. Okay, so this these two subject are related with each other lah. Okay. That's why the term used here is also quite similar. The belt pitch, the pitch, the pulley, the root diameter, the outside diameter, meaning that uh, the both this both subject is related to give gear lah. Right. Okay. The service designation, uh, standard pitches and for extra light. The, the designation is XL light, uh, L heavy H, extra heavy XH. Double extra heavy, double H, okay, double X H. The pitch here. Okay. Suspect can operate operate over a bad, very, uh, very wide range of speed. Have is uh, range of ninety seven to ninety nine percent. Require no lubrication, and high and quieter than chain drive. Okay, no colder speed variation. Uh, is in chain drive. Okay, and there are attractive solution for position drive requirement okay so three wire the tension member of the timing belt is located at the belt pitch uh does the uh, pitch length is the same regardless of thickness of the backing why we need steel wire why we need steel wire for the timing belt they have a steel wire uh, uh for the flat belt they don't have the steel wire they all only depend on the urethane only depend on the polymide uh, the material of the uh of the flat belt itself for the timing belt of course it needed uh, the steel wire inside the timing belt because it will give a uh, more if we can sustain more tension load lah y imagine in the, your car right your car is moving at uh, what speed uh, 200 kilometers per hour uh, 100 kilometers per hour and then you ramp up to 150 170 and everything the the operational is the timing belt lah. Again, that is why the timing belt need uh, to be reinforced with the steel wire uh, to make it to make it steady enough to withstand all this load lah. Okay, okay. Uh, if not, it break away, so it become the problem uh, when you are driving the car lah. Okay, okay. So the that the five standard uh, inch series pitches available listed in Figure seventeen eighteen with their letter designation, okay. 
the design and selection for self for timing belt is so similar that for V belt that the process will not presented here. As in the case for other V belt, the manufacturers uh, will provide an ample study information instead on size and strength. Okay, so the way that you uh, choose V belts is the same as uh, timing belt. Okay. Is the same as timing belt, so you just study the equation, the example above lah. Okay, in this is the roller chain. Okay, roller chain. Okay, this is the roller chain. I'm sure you're familiar with bicycle. Okay, with bicycle they have this roller chain. Okay, every one of you have ride a bicycle. I know. Okay, uh, bicycle have roller chain. Motorcycle also have roller chain. Okay, this is called a roller roller chain. Okay. Okay, basic features of a chain uh, drive include a constant ratio with six no slippage or creep is involved. Long life, ability to drive a number of shafts from a single source of power. Roller chain has been standardized to extra sizes by ANCSI NC figure 7016 shows a nomenclature. The pitch is the linear distance between centers of the rollers. Width is the space between in the link plates. These chains are manufactured in single, double, triple and quadruple stand. Okay. The dimension of standard size are listed here. Okay. This is the roller diameter. And this is the NC chain number and everything uh, you get. Okay. This is the piece of meter. This is the width. This is the minimum tensile. Strength is average weight. Roller diameter, multiple strength. Okay. Uh, figure 1717 shows a sp sprocket driving a chain and rotating uh, in counterclockwise direction. Denoting the change pitch by P, uh, the pitch angle by uh, gamma, and the pitch diameter extrapolated by D. The trigonometry of the figure you see here, since uh, since gamma per over two, equals or D over P over since gamma over two, so you get the uh, equation can be written as D. D is the larger diameter of the pulley, lah. Yeah, so equals to P pitch uh, over sin 180 degrees per N. Okay. Uh, the angle gamma over 2 through which the length swings as it contract is called the angle of articulation. It can be seen that magnitude of angle is a function of number of teeth, rotation of link, cause impact on between rather and uh, sprocket also where the chain joint. See the life or of a properly drib selected driver is a function of wear and surface petit strength of the roller important to reduce the angle angle of articulation as much as possible okay Okay. Okay. The number of sprocket teeth also affect the velocity ratio during the rotation through the pitch angle. Uh, okay. At the position shown uh, in Figure seventeen seventeen, the chain AB is tangent to the pitch circle of the sprocket. Okay. This is a Figure seventeen seventeen. Okay. Uh, however, when the sprocket has turned on, the angle of uh, gamma over two. Uh, the chain line AB move closer to the center of rotation. This means that the chain line AB is moving up and down. And the level arm uh, varies with the rotation through the pitch angle resulting with uneven chain exit velocity. You can think of sprocket as a polygon uh, which the exit velocity of the chain depend on whether the exit is uh, from a corner or, of a or from a flat of the polygon. Of course, the same effect occurs when the chain first enters the engagement with the sprocket. Okay. 
The chain velocity TV is defined as the number of uh, feet coming off the sprocket per unit time. The change velocity in feet per minute is V equals to NPL over, over 12. Okay. So this is how you calculate the velocity of the chain, uh, the velocity of the bicycle that you have, uh, you are riding, and uh, motorcycle that you are riding and everything. Lah. Okay. The maximum velocity of the chain is like this. Okay. So the minimum exit velocity is uh, like this. Okay, V min equal to pi D N per twelve. Okay, now starting to think uh, gamma over two. Okay, you find the speed variation to be like this. V max over uh, minus V min over V. Okay, this is called the called the speed variation. Uh, exploited by uh, uh, figure 17-8 17-18 okay When the change drive are used to synchronize position component or process, the due to consideration uh, must be given in this variation. For example, if the chain is synchronized, uh, the cutting of photographic film with forward drive of the film, the length of the cut uh, film or the sheets of film may might vary too much because of this called the speed variation. Such variation can also cause vibration to the system. Okay. Just to show the definition of a coder speed like this, lah. Uh, small sprocket is usually the driver or input sprocket. As the chain enters and exit, it rises and falls as each engage and disengage the sprocket. This movement called coder action. Okay, this movement called coder action causes chain speed variation. To, uh, that may be objectionable in some application. So, you you know all about the sprocket and everything that that. Uh, It have uh, engage and disengage. Okay, it will have engaging and disengaging. So this this is called the uh, coder action, lah. Although a large number of T is called desirable for driving sprocket, in the usual case, it's advantageous to as ob obtain a small as small as a sprocket as possible. Okay, uh, and this require one with small number of teeth. Okay, for smooth operation at moderate and high speed, it considered good practice to use a driving sprocket with at least seventeen teeth. Nineteen or twenty-one will, of course, give a better life expectancy with less chain noise. Where space limitation or severe or or very low speed, smaller tube numbers may be used by sacrificing the life expectancy of the chain. Okay. Uh, small operation. You use the smaller, the smaller teeth is a better one, lah. Okay, reverse pocket are not made with standard size over 120 teeth because the pitch elongation will eventually cause the chain to ride high long before the chain is worn out. Most simple drivers have velocity ratio up to six over one, but higher ratios may be used as to sacrifice of the chain life. Meaning that the gear sprocket is, uh, is usually not over 120 uh, teeth lah because uh, it will sacrifice the life of the chain and also the sprocket. Okay, several ro roller chains seldom fail because they like of tensile strength. They more more often fail because they have been subject to gr many great many hours of uh, service. Okay, actual failure may do to wear of the rollers of pins or to fatigue of surface of the Roller, okay. Roller chain manufacturers have compiled tables that give horsepower capacity corresponding to life efficiency of fifteen 
kilo hour for various purpose, pocket need. Okay, so uh, what this uh, mean by okay, they fail not because of tensile strength because they are made from uh, metal. They are made from metal, so uh, of course the tensile strength can we can sustain. Okay, no problem, but uh, because they operate for long time okay for the machine is operate for the long time so many people uh, come to neglect the wear and tear of the uh, of the mechanism lah so that is why uh, they will fail because of uh, wear and tear okay the because of wear and tear so if you given proper maintenance uh, if you proper maintenance and everything Okay, it should be okay lah. Okay, it should be it should be okay. So the capacity of the uh, capacity of chains are based on the following: uh, fifty thousand hours at full load, single strand, and C proportion service factor of unity, one hundred features in line recommended lubrication. Okay, elongation maximum of three percent. Uh, horizontal shaft. Okay, the fatigue. Uh, the vertical strength of link plates governs capacity at lower speed. American Chain Association (ACA) publication change for power transmission and material handling. 1932 give for single strand nominal power H1 at plate link plate limited H H1 equal to 0 0.04 nominal power and everything. So N1 equals to number of teeth. N1 equals to spro uh, sprocket speed. And everything you have uh, P is the pitch of the chain K R equals to 29 Okay Sprocket speed The NC chain number and everything Okay And this is the rated horsepower Capacity of single strand This is the single strand uh, Sprocket tooth Okay Tooth correction factor Multiple strand This is the uh, some calculation for it, eh? okay? Because then uh, nominal horsepower in table seventeen ten nominal horsepower is given by example n one equals to, uh, to seventeen n one equal to one thousand revolution per minute uh, h one equal to zero point zero four and everything, okay? Is it preferable to have an odd number of teeth driving sprocket and even number of pitch to avoid special link okay uh, okay sprocket have odd number speeches have chain have even number okay so to avoid special link lah okay so uh, approximate length of the uh, chain l in pitches is l over d equals to this equation so center to center distance is given by c equals to p over 4 uh, where A equals to this equation Lower power HE A given by this equation So horsepower must be transmitted uh, by this equation So KS equals is the service factor uh, And for entries for chains are 100 pitch length And 72 sprocket Okay View from the equation you find figure seventeen three nine can be written as straight of equation in the following terms like this, okay. I okay. This is the equ uh, some example for uh, select selecting chain uh, chain drive, okay. Select select drive component for two overbar reduction. Uh, 90 horsepower and input at 300 revolution per minute moderate shock abnormally long 18 hour day poor lubrication cone temperature dirty surrounding short drive c over p equals to 35 okay so you see here why this equation uh, this, this example is like this why this example is like this okay because this is the nature of chain drive it will operate not in uh, good condition now it will operate usually in poor uh, like this now cold, cold temperature the tea surrounding and everything this is usually typically the operation for chain drive okay uh, 
chain drive you see your bicycle you see your bicycle now people like to bicycle okay uh, you will of course you will probably properly you will properly maintain your bicycle you will uh, wash your bicycle regularly and everything lah but uh, for machine uh, chain drive the machine th that operate using chain drive usually in uh, in heavy environment lah in heavy duty environment so of course fuel lubrication cold temperature if uh, we are living in cold countries okay dirty surrounding and everything it's what nature of the of na the system lah okay so this is why the question is like this okay the function uh, so the solution is you have to see the function design service factor you have to form the table uh, three strands and everything and then uh, lubrication type B uh, command is, op is operating at pre extreme portion of power so durability estimate at 50,000 uh, hour are not available given the poor operating condition life will be much shorter so liberation of laurel is essential to obtain a long and trouble free life either a drip feed or shallow bath or lubricants is a factory a medium or light mineral oil without additive should be used except for unusual condition heavy oil aggregates are not recommended because they are too viscous to enter the small clearance or the chain part okay so lubrication this uh if, if if you remember your bicycle also you have to put your some lubrication to make it uh, smooth smooth riding also for uh machine you have to lubricate it okay you have to lubricate it regularly lah kan okay don't use heavy oil and don't use grease because uh it will not go into the smaller part of the chain okay uh, so i think that's all for the uh, for the b belts uh, okay for the belt uh, that's all for this topic for uh, for belting lah okay so for the next week we will go into the uh, a new topic lah uh, on the what spring on on the spring uh, i think spring what oh key couplet and seal key couplet and seal okay so i think that's all for the class today i think uh that's all for the class today uh wish you all prepare the best for the test lah uh this night lah. okay okay guys more right I think I have uh, uh, already 9 o'clock.